All right, let's start this four-part series on how to make a tree. Follow me on all four, Malia. Let's make a tree for the car to crash into. We start taking a bundle of uh, floral wire. This is 24 gauge floral wire, about 300 pieces, oh, about 200 pieces. And we use a softer wire and what we're going to do is tie it together with the soft gold uh, wire you see here. And we're just going to make rounds and rounds with it, tightening the roll up. Don't worry about uh, how many, just uh, tighten it as tight as you can get it and go as long as you can that you think the, the trunk, the main trunk, goes. When you get to the end and you're done, then all you need to do is clip it off. Hide all the edges and the ends and uh, you've got your main trunk. Now we're going to take some pieces, short pieces. You did notice that I did uh, start it up a little higher. We're going to make our roots. Make as many as you want. Some can be thick, some can be um, small. And just fan them out as uh, you would see tr trunks in a tree. I mean, roots in a tree. Make them as big as you want, as small as you want. Once it looks fairly decent, we will proceed to cover up the wire. We use a uh, floral tape for this, and you just wrap it up around. It's kind of sticky on both sides, and you just wrap it around and around and around until you got all the wires covered. Now, you're going to do this to the whole tree, and don't worry about how bulky it looks. We're going to be adding bark on it later, so it's just a matter of getting it all uh, marking where you're done hiding all the wire. Keep doing it round and round. Do it when you think it looks good. Cut it off and stop. There's the start of it. Now we're going to take the trunk that we had, that we made, and split it in half. Now you don't need to do that this far down on trees. Every tree is going to be different. You can do whatever you wish. It's all up to you on what you want to do. Once you've got the split, we're going to, just like I shows, we're going to wrap it with wire and cover it with tape and do the other one also. So there's your main trunk. Now I head back down to the roots. I'm going to tie those with wire and make all kinds of uh, crow's feet, if you will. Big roots, small roots, and we will also cover those with tape also. Now we're going to get rid of that big bunch in the middle because we want the tree, of course, to sit flat. And slowly but surely, you just clip off all the excess at the bottom. And there's your main tree with the roots. As you can see, the roots got a little crow's feet in places. Bundle all that up with the tape and then start focusing on your other ones. Now we can split it apart again and uh, just keep continuing up further and further with less number of wires. Your branch is going to get smaller. You can split it up. You can have a big one, a small one, and then keep going up until you get the real small ones and then you can use tape on it without using the wire. So what we got to do now is kind of make a dome. All these are all about the same length, some of them a little bit shorter depending on the angles and the bends you put in the branches. And then we're going to trim all the edges, the tops off to around nine and a half inches tall, which will reflect somewhere around a 30 to 40 foot tree. It's very, you see the structure of the tree. Like I said, don't worry, we're going to be painting over top of all this stuff, uh, kind of a bark texture, and that's going to be in another video. So what we do, we just, uh, what I did is I, made a stick that's about nine and a half inches tall and 
measure where we need to cut the tops and then the outside branches will get clipped at that. Or the in, next inside will get clipped to about 10 inches and then uh, all the way up to 10 and a half to the very top. We'll get done all clicking all of them, cutting them all, which sometimes can be a little hassle. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. I did draw some blood on this doing this, so just go by your measurement. And there you have it, all done. Ready to put the bark on it and ready for part number two on how to build a tree.